Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope all is well. Happy almost June. Um, I can't believe we are already in the mid-year. I'm really happy to have you here. Uh, my name is MJ. Welcome to my Creative Intuition Tarot. So this will be a June 2022 general reading for your sign. And as always, please listen to your intuition and take the messages as they resonate, as they feel relevant for you. Okay? If you interpret the messages or the cards in a different way than I do, that's absolutely fine, okay? As long as uh, the messages make sense to you because you know your situation best at all times, okay? Um, a few words about the spread that you are going to see in the center that will be you because you are in the center of uh, our attention in this reading. This is your predominant energy in the month of June, a major theme, okay? The surrounding cards that you will see around that central card will represent the associated energies uh, those may be events, people, uh, then cards on the right from the spread will be from the bottom of the deck and on the left from the top of the deck. Uh, and they will add up to your story um, that you will see in the central spread, but may also represent a separate additional events and messages. Okay. And with that said, um, if you like the way I read cards um, or if you just I mean, I hope you do. <laughs> and if you also spend good time here, I am warmly inviting you to uh, subscribe, leave a like, a comment. I always say that it's a huge creative and spiritual pleasure to be doing those readings for you. And I hope that you enjoy them as much as I do. Okay. So with all that said, let's get to your messages for June 2022. Enjoy. Hi Gemini, welcome to your messages. Let's get straight to it. I have um, four cards on the table for you. Uh, six of them are major arcana, so it's almost half. That is powerful spread. We have healing here, wisdom. We have love and commitment for some, may, may not be for everyone. The happiest card in the tarot deck, the sun, representing all the good things. So whatever that is for you, there's happiness, there's healing and growth, uh, maybe traveling. Let's dive into the details. So in that vertical row, uh, there is a story of healing, okay? There's temperance um, in the center, which is all about the divine healing in progress, okay? As, as those cosmic ingredients are mixing, the pieces of the puzzle are coming together. Balance and harmony are slowly, peacefully being restored, okay? There's synergy, there's synthesis in this card. Everything happens peacefully in moderation, um, we have the King of uh, Cups rooting the spread. This is the therapist of the tarot deck. He offers soothing guidance. He offers support. This may be an actual therapist in your life. This may be like a father figure. It may also represent um, the energy of healing itself. Okay, uh, You are building your emotional maturity up and regaining control of your emotional space with the King. Now, crowning we have the prince of swords and the moon card um the prince is the knight of um the knight i was going to say the energy of the knight it's prince in this deck sorry so you are rushing in with your sword of truth okay uh you are cutting through lies secrets illusions that are represented by the moon card and you are like chasing the clouds away to bring in clarity um, the path of the moon is the path of the shadow. It's like your inner journey that is ultimately leading you to light, enlightenment, realizations, aha moments. Okay, By facing your fears head on and bravely, you heal. That is another meaning of, of the moon card. So this row, as I said, <clears throat> I'm sorry, this is the journey of healing three healing cards. Okay, Now in the horizontal row, uh, this is your diligent, your prudent, your attentive effort, okay? Um, eight of coins, pointing us in this deck to prudence specifically. So you cooperate and hence co-create with the divine, okay, with the universe. Um, the archangel in the temperance card represents that divine aspect. It's, it's very symbolic, uh, this plant in, in the eight of pentacles, okay? This, this caught my eye when I was looking at the cards. Uh, this plant in the Eight of Pentacles, it's, it's almost like from the sky, okay? The, the shape of this twig, it resembles to me the, the fusion here that is happening in the Temperance card, okay? Um, 
it's almost like you and the divine are on two ends of the same energetic some kind of cosmic string or cord okay you are healing the heartache and the headache of the three uh, of swords through this whatever um the painful experience was that caused you pain and sorrow you are patiently releasing it okay the three of swords pointing to sorrow this is like the heartache and the headache at the same time it's it's really a very tough um energy and, and that's why the gentle healing i really like this and with the king of um of cups for some of you this may be an encouragement to look for support this is the base of your energy maybe there's someone who can support you in that process if that is something that you need okay um let's move to the right okay the three of swords this feels like the root cause for um probably is for the ten of swords that we have right here this is the symbolic death card in the minor arcana it's a painful ending but it is also an ending of a painful cycle okay it, it really at some point doesn't get any worse than this but it can actually only get better now if you decide to let go and move on okay which i i see that you do or again for some of you you are encouraged um to do with the three of wands okay there's looking ahead into your future into the distant or maybe not that even distant horizon making a choice to move towards rebuilding your life okay this can relate to any area of your life remember the eight of cups so you are leaving behind what is um no longer serving you you're leaving a place and energy um people behind that are not serving you there is no happiness here no satisfaction there is no growth that's also the ten of swords a completion and ending and you embark on a journey to find the ninth cup to find the joy and fulfillment okay and here you have three to the four of wands so there is um like things are happening in order there's progress as you move you lay solid grounds for your future and and you find reasons to celebrate that is the the four of wands energy okay um and i said the path of the moon always leads to the light and behind the moon there is always the sun okay so after the death in the ten of swords um there's there is a joyful um a wonderful rebirth uh your spirit is uplifted your health is strong you feel better with yourself and your life you're motivated you're energized this is probably still ahead of you but you are on the right path towards it okay and this new life will be stable solid uh it will have solid foundations um because you lay them with the four of wands okay and last but not least to the left we have three major arcanas here so that is a powerful um combination of cards i'm sorry my nose is itching um three major arcanas and we have the hierophant which is number five uh this is number of change so there is a change in your personal spirituality it feels deeper you're coming to a place of being a lot more connected okay remember the cosmic string that i was uh, mentioning here right it's like you quiet yourself you let the inner compass guide you maybe you are spending time connecting with nature as well with this card and then you have five to the six um transition so to the lovers card your choices are based in the heart and your soul they are made from the place of love to yourself others the world that is nature you know the cosmic love <laughs> um and the divine like life in general you grow and mature you are becoming ready to start the new definitely like more spiritually adult life okay for some of you the higher fund and lovers may indicate a committed relationship maybe marriage um because the lovers card represents that moment when we leave our nest and we start our own one so that may be just for some of you okay for some of you this may be some kind of like a priestly service or, or hearing a vocation for example with the hierophant um and then we have the dancer of the tarot the world card which is the universe in in this particular deck the universe cheers up for you and it celebrates you okay as you move towards finding that place in the world that is yours this may involve traveling with with this card yeah, but again this is growth there's maturity many of you may come to realizing your soul purpose or your life purpose with with this elevated um understanding and wisdom with the hierophant um 
there's definitely a completion of a major cycle as you wake up to the higher and wider perspectives, okay? Uh, you heal yourself like into the new major phase of your life. I hope that makes sense. Now, the world card also represents enlightenment. Um, so definitely with the Hierophant, realizations. I said the path of the moon leads to light and that is also about aha moments, revelations, right? Um, but it also represents individuation. I hope I said that correctly. I feel like you are moving towards deeper authenticity, okay? You start or, or you will start to recognize, accept and appreciate your unique characteristics, your skills, your talents, your ways of being, I don't know, your physical features. And you discover the wholeness and completeness of yourself, your life, the world around you, and how strongly you are and forever connected to that divine cosmic force with that cord that I said. It's like you realize, again, maybe for some of you, for some of you, this may be something of the future still. You are part of the universe, like you realize this. You're not a separate being, but you are a star child made of exactly the same stardust that builds up the planets and stars and galaxies. Okay, It's like you're discovering the intersection of heaven and earth, and that is the hierophant, that is the bridge between heavenly and earthly. And temperance is to some extent that bridge as well, when the divine and earthly uh, cooperates and those ingredients um, are mixing, okay? And when I was pulling out the cards for you, uh, two numbers were coming in very strongly. Um, and you may want to explore their meaning because there may be additional messages for you. And that was 666 and 88, okay? Um, and stay tuned for my 666 reading. And in like the next few days for June 6th, 2022 portal, I will be doing the 666 reading, uh, which will include that numerological aspect. But if you are drawn to check out 666 and 88, um, and also, Gemini, check out your bonus birthday reading uh, on my channel. I just posted it just a few days ago as we entered Gemini season, okay? Um, and with that said, let's close your reading with the Oracle uh, card from the Inner Star Oracle. I hope you enjoyed your tarot messages. I hope you were able to make sense out of them. Uh, as I always say, don't be afraid of your own interpretation. Embrace the change, absolutely. Let's read the message from the guidebook for you. Someone just had this card, I think. Um, so here's your message. On the path to our highest self, change becomes the navigator of where you're meant to be. Like reading the stars to roam the earth, the point from where you are and where you need to be will contain multiple points of transition in your inner journey. Your place within the universe is deeply rooted. See, that's exactly what I said. But your surroundings will transform and change as you move through these pivotal moments. Change is a necessary part of life. Without it, there would be no life at all. And your affirmation is, I am grounded and centered as I flow with the moving energy and navigate my way through life. And I'm leaving you with this. I hope you enjoyed the messages. Have a happy June. Again, happy birthday, Gemini. Take care of yourself and I hope to see you soon. Bye.